Hello and welcome to the GX video series and podcast. My name is Ian Khan and we're here at the World Government Summit 2023. I have with me Kyung Young Park, uh, an iconic figure within the technology circles in Korea. And Korea is one of the leaders right now, today in today's era, with technology enablement, artificial intelligence, the metaverse. Welcome to the show, my friend. How are you? Thank you. Tell it's us about, yeah. of course, it's a pleasure having you here on this uh, yeah. series. Yeah. Tell us about your uh, experience at the World Government Summit. Yeah, I think uh, I'm so uh, satisfied, actually, from the airport uh, to the hotels and then all the uh, summit. It's like a seamless satisfaction. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, for uh, if you've been to Dubai, a lot, which I'm sure you have, it has changed a lot in the last 30 years, right? Yes. 30 years have uh, been a lot of progress, a lot of development, but now you see uh, an event like this, the World Government Summit, which mm. has also grown mm. in the last 10 years uh, mm. quite a bit. Mm. Uh, and technology mm. is a big topic that was discussed through mm. this uh, mm. through this conference. Mm. Help us understand uh, Korea mm. and what is happening in your part of the world mm. uh, with technology. Mm. What are you working on? What is uh, what is Korea doing? Actually, uh, uh, I'm working on the uh, paradigm shift, uh, user-centric paradigm shift from the uh, current traditional paradigm, which is uh, business-centric paradigm. So I'm doing the power shift to users. User can control and user can access any service providers without any limitation. That means there should be no middleman between the users and the service provider, which is going to be a, a trust entity, mm -hmm. which is uh, responsible for the uh, services or product. Right. Yeah. And we were talking, of course, uh, uh, yesterday as well and a couple of days ago, you know, how AI is expanding. Artificial intelligence is everywhere yes. uh, in every industry. Yes. Uh, there are uh, great things that are emerging about artificial intelligence, but we also have to work on creating some basic frameworks yes. for information uh, exchange. Help us understand this idea of user centric. Uh, AI, or you, as you call it, your user-centric AI sharing platform as yeah. well. Yes. Help us understand why is it important, first of all, to have something user-centric? Yes, actually, uh, 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 user-centric means user is the owner. Is, and the user-centric means user is the center of the metal because user has already very strong tools, that is smartphones, which is uh, it's like a uh, supercomputer mm. for user. Yeah. Yeah. So that means the user can uh, use the uh, smartphones as a router, meaning the uh, user smartphone can initiate all the process to access to any service providers. Right. And also a user can uh, pay using the smartphone directly to the uh, connect to the uh, payment. Uh, tender issues like uh, financial institutions and also user can accumulate the, all the data on the user side. And in case of if user accumulated the data, then means the data should be analyzed mm -hmm. and then make uh, some recommendation for the owner of the data, which right. is a user. Yeah. That means uh, there is AI, AI should be controlled by a user. It should not be controlled by uh, big companies. Right. So AI should be controlled by users. That means AI for all, yeah. AI for everybody. Yeah. So I actually, I shared my vision in 2016 at the Seoul National University. Future will be with the next revolution by the user-centric AI. Right. It will create a new economy yeah. because AI will be shared with anybody Everyone will own their own AI for his or her uh, happiness. Yes. Yeah, for, yes. Her, for his happiness. Yeah. To, uh, to make our life healthier mm. and then make our life is, uh, happier and make our life is easier. Yes. And also longer. Yeah. 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 And there are so many applications of AI, and mm. we'll talk about that. 
uh, as you mentioned, you know, AI will be personalized. It will be focused on the user rather than large companies mm. creating AI and using the data of mm. uh, users to do to do other things. I think that truly is a paradigm shift, as yes, you yes. said. Where you started with that, you know, that you're creating a paradigm shift. Um, what are some of the application areas that you feel yeah. uh, could use this user-centric AI? Is it healthcare? Is it transportation? Is it education? Which, which would you suggest is ready as the first use cases for us to work with? Actually, it can be applied everywhere because you know uh, the, the reason why we are doing the AI is is that it is really for the hyper-personal AI service, hyper-personalized service. That means uh, it can meet for individual person's need, wants and need, uh, at the particular time and place and event, occasion, and some kind of uh, uh, any uh, circumstances. Mm. That means if we don't know, AI, if we, AI does not know individualized information, individualized data, yeah. that means it cannot provide that personalized services. Mm. But, in, but if the, some, one, the business, like a big companies, even though they make a, and collect a lot of data, but they don't have uh, enough data yeah. for each person right. because the, that company can collect the data mm -hmm. only uh, from the, uh, their own transaction, business right. scope only, yes. their own business scope. Yes. So that means they don't have enough data for individuals. Correct. Only the uh, individual can uh, collect their own data yeah. and also they can put their own data yeah. on their data it's called a data vault or course, data jar, yeah, yeah, data yeah. storage. Yeah, 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 yeah absolutely. Um, I, I think as you know, we head into this era of user-centric AI, personalized, hyper-personalized AI, uh, where you control the information that AI uses, or maybe we are headed into the era of you know um, uh, anticipatory AI, yeah. right? It anticipates the yes. things you need, the services you need, and it's personalized and it's safe and it's secure, that's a really an ideal situation, right? Yes, yes. And on top of that, you have robotics that are coming into play. You have new generations of robotics that have movement, that have dexterity to assist you. Think about uh, old age homes, yes, right? Yes. Where older people are living and reduced mobility and they have this hyper-personalized, uh, user-centric, AI-based, personal robot yeah. that helps them with their daily needs. Yeah. That for me is ideal yeah. because it's such a great use case. And I think there are many other things we can do. Yeah. Payment Payments are gonna be integrated into yes, this, yes, this yes, as yes, well. Yes. And you were telling me yeah, about yeah, that yeah. as well. What about the metaverse? You know, actually the first of all, I like to uh, uh, tell you about the, the use case. Yeah? And, uh, Please, because, yeah, uh, yeah, in yeah case of course, of, in, go ahead. In case of the, I am, we are using the, uh, uh, AI service for the small and medium enterprises can do the personalized recommendation service. Right. You know? so, uh, it, first of all, it is the, that recommend what you, are, what you are going to eat, what you are going to do. Yeah? It's kind of a, what you are going to have a, uh, your choice, mm -hmm. for the, like a food recommendations. And also it can be used to, as a, for the uh, small and medium enterprise, because like target marketing yeah. or demand forecasting event promotion, many kinds of use cases already available. Yeah. And also in case of the, uh, to increase your, uh, in case of your happiness and capability, mm -hmm. it's kind of, it's called is a digital service. You know, uh, uh, if you uh, have some uh, camera, scan your face, and then it can show you after 20 years. Yeah. yeah after 20 years, if you see that you are, uh, after 20 years or 30 years photo, maybe you need to prepare your health. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You, you, after 20 years, yeah. you, you want to be younger. Right? Yes. That means you can recommend your uh, health pass. Yeah. And also you recommend your cosmetics. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Many kinds of recommendations. Of course. And also you can increase your 
knowledge. Yeah. So that means it can enhance your capabilities mm. for your knowledge, or you can uh, AI can increase your like uh, financial management, so right. management, yeah. many things. Yeah. Because of uh, you said you asked me right now, robotics. Because robotics uh, actually cannot uh, replace whole humans, but it can perform the your specified functions yes. as you want. Yes. Yes. So like a robot can be like a uh, specific. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, it's kind of a secretary yep. or specific functions. And some carry something to uh, here to uh, where you want mm -hmm. to go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah of like course. Delivery, food delivery, like that. Yeah, yeah many yeah. applications. Many so, applications. So Seoul is also, uh, Korea is also, it's Seoul being a city that has kind of pioneered mm. the public sector mm. metaverse, metaverse, right? Yes, there's, yes. A, there's a metaverse with Seoul, and you, they also have services yeah, that yeah, are being good. delivered. Yeah, metaverse is it. just starting right yeah. now. Last year it opened. Mm -hmm. So it is uh, it's kind of a, a starting service. Very yeah. nice. Yeah. But yeah. I... In case of metaverse, also they need the uh, AI. So AI should be the user-centric AI because they have to preserve the privacy. Now that sounds exciting. Help us uh, and our listeners uh, as, a, as a final word, maybe understand what should they look for in technology? What's the path forward for us uh, to yeah. use technology? Actually, you know, uh, the, uh, if you look back uh, our human history, all the technology advancement used for the happiness of the human, right. humanity. Yes. So all the technology will be used uh, for the uh, happiness of humans. That means either AI should also contribute for the happiness of a human. Right. Yeah. That's, a, that's a great point. If yes, we chase yes. happiness, yeah. uh, it, should, it should be the right use, right? It will mm. be the right use if yes. we chase ultimately happiness. Yes. Yeah. And also it, it will increase uh, jobs. It will increase the jobs yes. and career prospects and, yes. and how we study. Yeah. Thank you so much for the conversation, Mr. Bark. It's yeah. an honor to have you here at the World Government Summit and on our series. And we hope to follow the story of uh, hyper-personalized, of course, user-centric AI platforms that you're developing. Uh, and also this, the story that comes out of Korea yes. and its developments. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank we you really so much. appreciate it. Thank you. It's been an honor. Thank you. Thank you. It's Thank my you honor. so much. Thank you. And that is the end of this episode, friends. Uh, watch this episode and others on our channel and follow us on uh, multiple podcast platforms as well as video platforms. This is Yen Khan. Take care. <laughs>